it's almost Christmas again. Now Christmas, it should be a fun and happy time when you're gathered together with your friends and your relatives. But it can be a very highly stressful and even dangerous time for your rats and even for your other animals. The, all the decorations look absolutely lovely and we all like to you know, have trees and, and make our homes look attractive at Christmas. But the thing to remember is, um, with trees especially, this is an artificial tree. I wouldn't want my rats to be um, climbing on this tree and eating it. Um, these, it does shed some of these little artificial fibre needles there. So you need to vacuum the floor regularly. Um, if, you're have, if your tree is in your room where your rats have their exercise, um, if you have a, a real tree, remember that you don't want your rats chewing on the bark um, or the actual needles or any little pine cones or anything. They really could be quite dirty and um, not very nice. And obviously, if your tree is pine or something like that, then that's very bad for rats. So watch out whatever type of tree you have. Um, we have some battery operated lights on this tree. Uh, but we also have um, some lights that are plugged into the electric. Now, you really don't want your rats to be chewing on the electric cables. So if your tree is too big to remove from the room where your rats exercise, then um, I suggest that you unplug the cables and sort of wind them round the tree higher up. So or put the, the cables on a shelf or somewhere where the rats cannot possibly get to them, where they can't be knocked off and injure your rats when they're playing. So the actual tree itself is quite a danger. Um, so just, just be thoughtful of you know your rats and how they're going to get into everything. And it may look very cute to put your rats on the tree for a photo. And that's okay if it's a sturdy tree, you're watching your rats and there's no electric lights or anything plugged in and you remove your rat from the tree immediately afterwards. Um, Rats and trees, Christmas trees, I, I just don't think works very well in our house. We've had little rats in trees and um, we've had to that, remove them immediately. Now, lots of people do take photos of their rats with things like tinsel. Now, tinsel, it does shed and it is a choking hazard. So if you are taking sort of cute pictures of your rats with decorations, make sure your rats don't chew any of the decorations and remove the decorations from the rats immediately you've finished the photos um, remember to keep hoovering the floor to get any dangerous bits up um, if you're making crafts and you're using pins or needles or anything i don't even know if i can open this anymore my hands are so weak there we go a giant kiddies magnet is ideal for sweeping over the carpets and over the sofas and chairs to make sure you haven't lost any small magnetic items or sharp needles and pins um, this long type of tinsel is also um, you know anything tinsely not good decorations like this tree type decoration um, that's got wires and sharp pieces in um, don't let your rats chew on any of these things that would be quite unsafe baubles can be made of glass still and often have glitter on like that one uh, all sorts of Christmas decorations have little added bits, very attractive to your rats, but really um, not what you want them playing with. The little fibre optic trees are slightly safer, but they do have batteries in, so just be aware of those as well. Things like crackers, this one, pretty little star on it. Crackers are fun for humans, but they're not fun for rats. Um, noises like crackers party poppers people having fun that's all fun for humans but not fun for rats so if possible if you're having a big family gathering i would move your rats into a quieter room in their main cage if you can but if not i'd put them into your spare cage don't shut them in a the little carrier for for hours and days that's not fair at all but if you have a spare cage of a decent size to put your rats in another room while you have your parties um, and remember to go and check on them and reassure them. Make sure that all your guests, especially children, know not to feed treats to your rats and not to put their fingers in or near the cage, especially if they're smelling of food. Um, 
I was just trying to think what else. Don't don't change your rat's diet and start giving them lots of things like turkey and Brussels um, for their dinner when they're used to eating dried food because that's just going to give them a terrible upset stomach. Tiny little bits of, of food, of vegetables and things are okay for them, but don't go piling their, their dish up with things they're not used to. And definitely avoid human sweets and crisps and things. Stick to the rat treats and... Um, try and keep them healthy as possible so I think really that's that's probably all I can say about Christmas at the moment just have a lovely holiday keep your rats happy healthy and safe and we will be back somewhere between Christmas and New Year we will have a short video for you